Hi, my name is Erin and I'm a librarian in Maryland. Um, today I'm going to do a book talk on Annie on My Mind. <laughs> there it is. By Nancy Garden. Um, so in this book, um, it's Liza Winthrop's senior year of high school and she has got a lot on her plate. She is student council president. Um, she's recently made the pretty stupid decision of letting a classmate run an underground ear piercing business and she's gotten caught and there's been repercussions from that. In addition to that, um, the private school that she attends fosters um, it's called Foster's, um, is facing closure due to low enrollment and budget cuts and things like that. So there's a lot of stress going on. So it's a relief for her when one day she meets the whimsical and dreamy Annie Kenyon um, at a museum. And the two of them strike a pretty deep, meaningful friendship that soon turns into something else, love. So as wonderful as that sounds, the two of them do face a lot of obstacles, including their um, families, their friends, and in the case of Liza, their, her school. Um, her school steps in um, once they discover the two of them, that they're having a relationship. Um, we meet Liza at the beginning of the book. Um, she is the narrator, and so the uh, book is told mostly in flashbacks when her mind has started to wander back to when she has Annie on her mind. So if you're a fan of love stories, um, realistic fiction, LGBTQ plus books, or if you just want to know why in the world a school would ever get involved with the love life of a teenager, then um, Annie on My Mind by Nancy Gardner might be the book for you. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's it's really good, especially for older teens. Um, so if you're on your way to college, things like that, because this addresses um, stuff like that, like being separated from your friend or your girlfriend or boyfriend, um, reaching the end of your school years when there's a lot of your your public school years <laughs> when there's a lot of um, uncertainty in the future, things like that. Um, I also liked this edition. This is the paperback edition. Um, because there is a an interview with Nancy Garden in the back of it, and um, she goes on, she talks about why she created the book, um, what it's based on, uh, part of her own experience um, in school. She herself is a gay woman and has um, her partner. Um, they were, I'm pretty sure I think they were high school sweethearts. Um, they were uh, they were young at the time when they when they met. So um, so that that has a really a lot of good tie into the the realistic aspect of it. So hope you pick up Annie on my mind by Nancy Garden. Thanks.